skies will stay sunny for the day today and temperatures later on this afternoon will be close to our seasonal values. But it is a colder start to our day. 31 out of the airport. We're in the low 30s as well downtown. Winds pretty calm from the south southeast at 8 miles per hour and will stay that way for the majority of the morning and then pick up a little bit as we head into this afternoon. Outside currently it is cold up in Longmont 29 degrees. We're now in the upper 30s. Aurora and Parker Black Hawk in the low 30s. If you're taking the dog out for a walk this morning or just spending some time out and about 9 o'clock still very crisp under a clear sky at 39 and we'll top out in the low to mid 60s here in Denver. Sunny skies feeling very fall like definitely sweater weather but also you want sunglasses sunscreen this afternoon 3 o'clock Westminster 66 degrees same through Thornton Broomfield a little bit cooler at 63 but overall a pretty nice fall day across the metro and across the state. Steamboat Eagle will start to see the clouds increase and the winds pick up a bit but still will top out in the upper 40s to low 50s. Grand Junction at 59 degrees this afternoon, but not in terms of today. Any watches and warnings in place into the mountains, but tomorrow we'll see this winter weather advisory in effect until at least noon. All areas here in purple, especially over the higher elevations down through our central mountains, Aspen Vale could be seeing up to four to eight inches of fresh snow at those higher elevations around one to three expected at uh, the valley level and also an air quality warning will be in place today. Hopefully not tomorrow. We'll, we'll see some of that air clear out, but the Cow Creek fire still causing reduced air quality uh, for sensitive groups. If you do live near Gunnison or Salida, please be aware of that. Our forecast though for tomorrow, you can see um, the blue shaded here, the darkest blue expecting the most heavy snow up through northwestern Colorado, but it'll filter down across a lot of western Colorado, bringing us a possibility for a couple of showers, but I think for the most part, the majority of the moisture will stay out to our west. So for tonight, 34 degrees for an expected low. Increasing clouds, still chilly. Breezy conditions. Winds will be from the northwest around 10 to 15 miles per hour. Tomorrow will be mostly sunny to start. Some clouds will increase through the day. We have about a 10% chance of seeing a few rain showers. Otherwise, our main weather story tomorrow will be the cooler air and the very gusty winds. Sustained from the northwest around 15 to even 25 wind gusts could reach up to about 35 miles per hour. So if you have stuff outside that you don't want to necessarily be blown away, do keep that in mind for tomorrow. Temperatures into the mountains are going to be very, very cool. Up in the upper 30s into Bailey and Decker, same through Drake, will be in the 50s and 40s across the majority of eastern Colorado and here's what it looks like on our future cast for tomorrow morning. Steamboat Springs, our central mountains. If you're traveling on I-70, please be extra cautious for tomorrow. Chain and traction laws will be in place. Could be seeing pockets of heavy snow over the Eisenhower Tunnel up there near Loveland Ski Area by 1030 tomorrow morning. You see over the eastern half of the state though, dry here in Denver, just partly cloudy with a couple, as I mentioned, rain showers, but for the most part, skies will clear as we get through Sunday. Snow will taper off in the mountains, will be milder on Tuesday with our next round of rain and snow expected Thursday of this coming week.